She said that American soccer fans, most of them aren't smart. They don't know the game. They don't understand. Gio, Gio, Gio. That guy gets boxed. Before to take a lame gorilla, okay? Hey, Bryce, did you know that Arsenal? He died. He's got me buzzing. Up the top, he's, it's hard to up on them up them anyway. I, I'm just going to comment on that. Well, boys, we start where we we have to start, really. It is PSG, it is Dortmund, it is the Champions League semifinal, and it goes the way of the Germans. Mats Hummels comes away with a goal to not just keep the, the win for Dortmund on aggregate, but win both legs 1-0. They win at Signal Aduna. That was maybe expected just because of what a great home atmosphere that is. They win on the road at Parc de Princes here. PSG had a lot, a lot of chances, a lot of shots. I believe they hit the post like six or seven times in this one. Dortmund get the win, though, and that's all that matters. And this means that Dortmund goes back to the Champions League final for the first time since 2013, where it was last played in Wembley, and that is where it'll be played this year. And in, in that 20. 20- 13 final in Wembley. They played against Bayern Munich, their German counterpart. Who is in the other semifinal that will play tomorrow? It is Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid. Mike, this is a just a great story for Dortmund to come up as the underdog, beating PSG, who have all the money pumped into them as pos- as humanly possible, with the superstar Kylian Mbappe. They come out with wins in both legs here is this a a win for soccer that a team like Dortmund from the German style where it's owned by the fans not some random Saudi prince wins gets the Champions League final here Ja it's a win for football Ah. it's a win for soccer um smaller team not a small team by any means but compared to a PSG that level of investment they're not even close um star players everything um so really really big really cool to see i mean dortmund weird season didn't do all that well domestically we're in a group of death in the champions league got out of there scraped by and had a little bit of fortune with a few of their matchups in the knockouts but played really well um and dominated here i mean they weathered the storm in the second leg um a lot of shots but Gritty defending. Mats Hummels, what a resurgence he's had. Uh, people were talking about he's done when he came back from Bayern. His legs are gone. But dude looked like class. I mean, he's one of my favorite defenders of all time. And he's got his, uh, his last breath right. here. Uh, good goalkeeping as well. And yeah, PSG hit the post four times in the second leg. I think twice in the first. No luck on their side. Um, but you know what? You got to put it in. And uh, when you have that amount of chances, it doesn't really matter that you hit the post that many times. You got to be clinical. And they weren't. Usman Dembele, suck it. You stank. Um, Nick, did you see anything else? Uh, I just loved it. Uh, first off, it's a little bit harsh on Dortmund to say they've had some luck in the in the knockout stages rounds. Like you said, they did get out of the group of death. They had to earn it there. I mean, Atletico Madrid, as far as talent, doesn't really line up with the other side of the bracket, but that is a that is a bitch of a matchup, bro. They are that is Harambal, that is like European heritage. They've been there, done that. So uh that is a big, big victory for them. That one to me, you know, you can't say it's more impressive than the semifinal because of the semifinal, but it definitely showed who they were. So big for them. PSG, I'm kind of split, bro. I kind of feel bad for them because they finally got away from the whole superstar thing. They investing in youth and, and trying to build the club the right way. They're not going to pay like just like Killian, just bend him over the coals continuously. I really like Luis Enrique. I know, you know, as a Barca fan, you might feel a type of way about him or not, but I love him. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I, I felt bad at a certain point, though. You're not unlucky. You're you're poor in front of goal. And so the post six times you can say unlucky, but it's like you said, you got to put them away. You just have to, you you're the one shooting the ball. It's not like a lot of those were deflections or anything. It it was six true posts. And that just means six times that you failed to score. Uh, 
it sucks. It's going to be weird. We're going to see if like their building strategy actually works without Mbappe there. He was, you know, he was good, but once again, no individual has been able to carry PSG to this final. So, uh, clearly, clearly it's not enough to just have him and now they don't even have him. So will this project kind of continue in the upward trajectory? I really don't know. I like a lot of the players that they brought in. I like Gonzalo Ramos a lot. He kind of did dick all. So I don't know if if really he's it's the answer at the nine. Yeah, I don't know if he's the if he's the he nine. He got on the right there. places. Just didn't put the ball in the right place. Yeah, you know who else does that? Nicholas Jackson. So it's <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. Um that being said, I was absolutely with the rest of the world cheering for Dortmund for this one. And big you get you get that ball to hit the post six times, you win two zero. You kind of get like this 30% possession kind of, you know, they were not the better team, but they won. Big team of destiny vibes. Big team of destiny vibes. Uh, I think we all have our fingers crossed that Royce can end his career there. He, he announced he's leaving uh, with that Champions League medal. Uh, and I don't think there's a person alive that doesn't want it to be an all German final. So including Dortmund fans, including Bayern, I mean, anyone, maybe Madrid fans, but honestly, Fuck those guys. So <laughs> maybe Madrid friends. What do you mean? Of course, nah, Madrid fans those. don't want it. Depends Some of those Madrid, Madrid fans but, are, are so kind of like Walmart fans. <laughs> there is plenty to be positive about. And, and just going with Dortmund here, the storylines just write themselves with this. They find themselves as the underdogs. Finding themselves all the way to the final now in the knockouts. People were saying they were one of the easiest options. They were everybody was praying for them. There's so many memes on Twitter about how lucky people were getting to get matched up with Dortmund, and Dortmund continually find their way through. They played extremely well, where they've gotten eh. German the German league enough coefficient points to now put themselves in the fifth position in their league to secure Champions League for next year without even having to win the final. Marco Royce, a footballing legend, going out his last game will be the Champions League final. That's amazing. Mats Hummels and Royce both coming back together as the two remaining from the 2013 team. And then you have Jaden Sancho, who in the first leg certainly had a, a better performance. It had, I believe, 11 take-ons and, and dribbles that game. He's having just a resurgence of his career there after a, a poor time at Manchester United, sticking it into the Manchester United fans. Not sure if they need any more kicking to the ground here, but there is storylines like none other. And quite honestly, the way that Dortmund played today defensively, obviously they did allow 31 shots and, and some shots off the crossbar. But the way they played their 4-2-4, it's the same exact way that Real Madrid kind of counteracted a Manchester City team to not have that amazing of chances. If you stop that flow of, of passing into the center, don't allow these teams like a, a PSG and a Manchester City who want to have a lot of possession, get two extremely talented players in the center to create. It does slow down that offense from what they're used to doing. And that's exactly what Dortmund did. We'll see what they can do against a... It's going to be a, a massive matchup. It's a Champions League final no matter what, Bayern or Real Madrid. But Mike, do you think they match up better against their German counterparts? Or do you think they're maybe hoping for the, the switch in terms of getting to maybe not their obvious boogeyman of Bayern Munich and getting Real Madrid? Um, match up better. Not entirely sure on that. I'm sure they'd rather have Bayern. I mean, the story's cooler. It's uh, someone they'd you know, love to beat, especially in the final, a little bit of a revenge game. And just on the fact that Madrid is the scariest team to play in the Champions League. I think you want to avoid them. Um, no matter your tactics, if you slow down the attack coming through the middle, Madrid has so much speed to kill you on a counter, and they have so much individual brilliance. Bayern does too, but not to the same degree that I would think they want the Bayern matchup. They 100% want the Bayern matchup. <laughs> let's, let's not yeah. kid ourselves. I mean, it, it's a rival. You always feel like you can beat your rival in any game. I, you know, we're playing, you know, shit man you this weekend, but it's still a big six matchup and it's going to take a lot for us to win it. I, they a million percent want Bayern. Nobody wants to play Real Madrid at this point. We, we got to be real. And, and Flags, I get where you're coming from, but let's not, let's not ride too hard on Dortmund. Like, they, 
They uh, won. They are in a Champions League final playing great. You're talking about how they played extremely well with their, you know, breaking up PSG's attack. There was a lot of chances for me. They had like 35 shots. Like, oh, it's not. Yeah. It is but not half of those like, shots are coming from outside the 18. That's it is, what you're trying to do. They did not lock down PSG. No. I am very happy they're in the final. I think they have Team of Destiny vibes, but they are massive underdogs against whoever they play. Especially Real Madrid, massive underdogs. But I you have to give credit to Adam Terzic and, and what he did to make those chances. Thirty-one shots, hard shots. Vitinha's shot that hit the post was from about twenty-five yards out. A lot of those shots were not the best looks. It wasn't like PSG usually is cutting and crossing in, getting inside the box. They played a, a well tactical game. Although PSG, yes, were throwing everything but the kitchen sink at them. You give some credit to Edin Terzic last time uh, that Borussia Dortmund won the Bundesliga. He was in the stands as a fan. This time, he'll be bringing them to a Champions League final. Let us know who you think Dortmund better match up against Real Madrid or Bayern, their German rival. What do you think their fate is in that final versus one of those two? And will they be able to get the job done?